Hello friends, today's topic in the bio course of anatomy is a clavicle. Another name of the clavicle is a collar bone. First we will see the peculiarities of the clavicle bone. The first peculiarity is it is the only long bone that lies horizontally. Second, it is having no medullary cavity. The third, it lies throughout subcutaneous cutaneously. The fourth, it is the first bone in the body to ossify and the last bone to complete its ossification. The fifth, it is the only long bone in the body which is having two primary centers of ossification. The sixth, it is the only long bone in the body which ossify in membrane. The rest of the long bone will ossify in the cartilage. And the last one, it sometimes pierced by middle supraclavicular nerve. Now we will see the site determination of the clavicle bone. Now to determine the site of any bone, you have to remember the three points. The first one is either anterior or its posterior aspect, the lateral or the medial aspect, and the superior or the inferior aspect. We will see one by one. First, we will see the medial and the lateral end. The lateral end of the clavicle is flattened from the above downwards, whereas its medial end is large quadrilateral in the same. The second, anterior posteriorly. In its medial two third, the anterior part is convex forward, and in its lateral one third, anterior part is concave forward. The third superior and inferior. In its inferior aspect, in the middle part of the shaft, you can see the longitudinal groove. Apart from the longitudinal groove, you can also see below the lateral one third of the shaft, the conoid tubercle and trapezoid ridge. So, when you combine these three features, you can able to identify the site of the clavicle. This clavicle is of a right side. Now we will focus on the feature and the attachment of the clavicle. The first we will see its end. The clavicle is having two ends, medial and lateral end. Talking about the lateral end, the lateral end of the clavicle is flattened from above downwards. Uh, above downwards. Now this lateral end is also known as an acromion end because it will articulate with the acromion process of the scapula to form acromioclavicular joint which is a plain variety of a synovial joint. Now talking about the medial end. Medial end is quadrilateral in the same. It is larger than the lateral end. Now this will articulate with the manubrium part of a manubrium sternite -like to form sternoclavicular joint which is a saddle variety of synovial joint. Now talking about the shaft. The shaft is edge-shaped and it is curved in a such a way that we will divide it into the medial two-third and lateral one-third. First we will talk about the lateral one-third of the clavicle or the lateral one-third of the shaft of the clavicle. Now the lateral one third, like its lateral end, it is flattened from above downward. So it is having two borders, that is anterior border and posterior border, and two surfaces, superior surface and inferior surface. First we will talk about the border. The anterior border is concave forwards. The anterior border provides attachment uh, origin of a deltoid muscle. The posterior border is convex backwards and it will receive, uh, receive the insertion of a trapezius muscle. Now we will talk about its surface. The superior surface is subcutaneous. There is no any specific feature present on the superior surface. Now focus on the inferior surface. The inferior surface toward its posterior end it will present the colloid tubercle and later to the colloid tubercle there is an elevated line which is known as a trapezoid ridge. Now this colloid tubercle and trapezoid ridge provides attachment of 
conoid and trapezoid part of orecoclavicular ligament. The second part of the shaft it is its medial two-third. Now the medial two-third of the shaft is somewhat rounded like that of a medial end. So it is said to have a four surface that is anterior surface, posterior surface, superior surface and inferior surface. We will see one by one. First the anterior surface. The anterior surface is convex forward it will provide attachment of clavicular portion of the pectoralis major muscle. Second, the superior surface. Superior surface is somewhat smooth, but towards its medial end, it is rough, which will provide origin of clavicular head of sternocleidomastoid muscle. Third, the posterior surface. Posterior surface is somewhat concave. Towards the medial part, it will provide origin of sternohyoid muscle. The last is the inferior surface. Now the inferior surface towards its lateral part, it will present its, it will present the longitudinal groove which is known as a subclavian groove. Now the subclavian groove receives the insertion of a subclavius muscle and its margin provides attachment of clavipectoral fascia. Now, second thing on the inferior surface of a medial two-third is towards its medial end, it will show the oval coastal facet. This facet, oval coastal impression, which will provide attachment of costoclavicular ligament. The important applied aspect of the clavicle is the common side of the fracture is the junction between the lateral two-third or lateral one-third and the medial two-third of the shaft because it is the weakest point of a clavicle. Second, the it is a junction between its two primary center and it is a common side of a uh, impaction of a force. That's why it is a common side of a fracture. When, whenever fracture occurs, a treatment is done by giving the eight safe bandage to the clavicle. If you like our video, like it, subscribe it and share with your friends.